Armando Cora is in the hospital on the brink of death. To solve the puzzling case, Dr. Zane Saul digs a little deeper into Armando's history. We learned from the patient that he had just spent a couple of weeks in a military type training where he actually lived in the woods. And now we're concerned that he could have definitely picked up something from the environment. So the infectious disease team is called to see the patient. Dr. Saul sends Armando's blood for a new round of tests. And after two days in the hospital, the family finally gets some news. There's about six doctors standing in my room. And they said to me, Mr. Cora, we know what's wrong with you. Armando had a parasite called Babesia microti, leading to a disease called Babesiosis. You know, to think there was something foreign inside of me living was pretty creepy. I never heard about Babesia before. I can see by just being with my husband, it was a very dangerous disease. I really thought that I was going to lose him, so I, I prayed. Inside Armando's body, the Babesia parasites reproduce in his bloodstream, destroying his red blood cells in the process. The parasitic infection sends his spleen into overdrive as it tries to filter out the damaged blood cells, leading to his side pain, staggering fever, and jaundice. This man is sick. This man is very sick. He looked like there was no life on him. It really crossed my mind that I may not make it through this. For the first time in my life, I was truly, truly scared for my life. Babesiosis can be difficult to diagnose, not only because it's so rare, but also because its symptoms resemble those of many other illnesses. Many people who have babesiosis will exhibit only mild flu-like symptoms, but in some cases, it can be life-threatening. <laughs> 